I get and I'm here because I don't feel like I get boundaries. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out like how it's different than pulling away, how it's different than separating. Pull, okay, good. Pulling away isn't, isn't a boundary. Pulling away is I'm reacting. And pulling away can be a boundary as if I like, I'm pulling away and I put words to it. Honey, I gotta go away for a little bit. Then I'm a little more awake around the whole thing. If I'm just pulling away and I shut down and I go into silence or I go into like my room and I retreat without using any kind of words, I'm pulling away. I'm a hurt kid, I'm in my wound and I'm just not being an adult. And the adults have left the building now and no one set a boundary, I just did my pattern, right? So rather than do that, which is, again, that's, if that's the best we can do in any given moment, that's okay. That's better than sitting there dissociated, pretending like we're listening, you know? So, um, but now like the next step is like putting words, being able to put words, like this is where the warrior, inner warrior parent <clears throat> comes online to do the talking for the kid. And even if it's a 5% of me, I've got to muscle, I've got to train myself and muscle myself into words and say, honey, I'm blown out, I'm taking space. Ideally, I say, I'm blown out, I'm taking space, and I'll be back X, Y, and Z. Tonight at 10, tomorrow morning, we'll reconnect and check in. But wow, I'm so flooded and overwhelmed and done. So I'm getting more wakeful, right, with my boundary, because I'm putting words to it, I'm in relationships still, and then I'm taking a break. Does that help at all? Are you at that point so to me, that's like sort of taking away choice or me hearing the other person. Correct. I'm going to take this. Yeah. I'm going to go. You have no choice in the matter. That's right. Tough shit. Yep. I have no idea what to do with that. Yeah, eventually, eventually. Because to me, that means hey, I don't care. No, it doesn't. So that's your enmeshment right there. It means you don't Owned. care, right? And then you project that onto her or him or whomever, and there she's like, you know, um, yeah, you don't care, and then you're, you're back in a loop again. It's like, let her feel whatever she's gonna feel having you set your boundary. That's her journey. And it's her process now. And ideally, you're doing your boundary with care, which is, honey, I care about you. I'm so blown out. I gotta take space, and I'll be back. And I wanna hear more from you, but I have zero bandwidth for that right now leave. And then I come back at the time I said. And, he, and again, if I'm in a committed long-term partnership, when I leave, um, my wife knows, and I, I'm not able to put words to it, or she's not able to put words to it, I know she's not going anywhere at this point. And my little guy knows now she's not leaving the relationship. She's not like, peace out, see ya. But initially it was like, <gasps> that's what I had to feel. Deep angst. So it sounds like you just, you're doing it right. You just now need to add words and let her have her journey when you take space. Well, that, yeah, on my side of the, that equation, I think I can do that. Receiving it is harder. Receiving what? Receiving a strong boundary that I don't feel those caring words coming back at me. What do you just, feel? I'm yeah, out. Yeah. Okay. What, when someone says I'm out, what happens for you? Uh, <clears throat> Hurt, fear, they don't care, I want to shrink, go hide. And you feel what? Hurt, um, you said? Sad. And do you feel some fear around losing a relationship? Uh, or I feel like I've already lost it, yeah. Okay, so you're probably go start to go into a little kid zone and feel really a lot of upset, yeah? Right. But you want that. You want to feel that so that you can get stronger there. That's the whole point. You want someone to be able to set boundaries so you get cast onto yourself to face what you've been avoiding. This is why people don't set boundaries. So it's my so, opportunity then to create myself. Not create yourself, to be with yourself. Yep, and get stronger and hold that one in you who is feeling terror, angst, upset, hurt, and just be with. And alone. And alone, totally. Mm -hmm. Alone, abandoned, helpless, all that shit, right, that comes up for us when someone does a hard stop for us. It, and again, it doesn't matter if it's mean, polite, in this path, it doesn't matter. It's our, st every version of it is still our opportunity to be with ourselves. 
So yeah, it's preferable if people aren't mean. It's preferable if our partner says, hey, honey, boundary time, time out. <laughs> but it just, you know, we go in the back part of our brain, folks, and then we get kind of lame sometimes. And we, get, we can't communicate. We freeze and we shut down and we say stupid shit. So why expect someone to be all clean and tight about it? Just have a preference. Hey, let's tighten it up over time here. That'd be great. And thank you again for setting a boundary. Because guess what I got to do for the last hour? I got to sit in my shit. <laughs> and I got stronger. I was able to hold my guy. Man, we had a good cry. Yes. And now I'm really available. But see, again, warrior person has to know how to feel their experience. And most people don't know how to do that. So what do they do? They freeze. They just stay shut down and angry. They go change the channel and you know watch sports or porn or go to work and work their ass off or eat sugar. You know, most people just don't want to be with their experience. So they don't get Owned. anywhere. <laughs> What's that? Owned. Yeah, right? Yeah, dude. I have my version. Okay, helpful? Thank you. Well, yeah, thank you. Great question. I think people were relating with that one for sure. <laughs>